Here's a walkthrough of the 20 ounce tumbler animated mock-up. The first thing to do is get the timeline up if it isn't already up. So go Windows, Timeline. Let's just zoom out a bit there. Okay, first thing to do is get your design on there. So step one, if you look in the bottom right here, you've got the layer stack double click the smart object that's step one and then step two is to double click this smart object and on here you can place your design so bow place embedded find your artwork Okay, this isn't designed for a um, for, for a tumbler, but I'll just use it as an example of how to uh, insert your design. When you're happy with the position, make sure it's scaled to the size of the um, the canvas widthways. It must must if you don't if you leave a gap at the end there, that will show. It won't be seamless. It will show on the size and the, but you might want to leave a gap at the top top and the bottom depending on what sort of design you've got but you'll get the hang of it once you've you've tried it so once you've placed and sized it click close it and make sure you say yes here and then again on this one close this say yes and the design is there like i was saying you might want to leave a gap for this part of the tumbler when you if you want to preview it just hover over the timeline and press spacebar and you'll see that the uh, Photoshop starts to build the animation frame by frame. At the moment it's about five frames per second for me, but it'll be quicker depending on on your uh, speed of your computer. I'll just pause while it builds that. Okay, it's nearly finished building it. Yep, no, now it has and it's displaying the design. Ten second animation press spacebar to stop at any point oh no I think you just click inside actually okay so that's how you deal with a full wrap say for example you didn't have a full wrap design you just had a text uh, as your design with transparent background you can do some changes to the color of the tumble I'll show you how to do that select the body and then you go to this col color overlay double click it and then select whatever color you want other things you can play around with are the background you could swap out you could turn off that background and then File, place, embed one of your own backgrounds. You can turn off the sh uh, the shadow effect and the body reflections. You can change the opacity depending on how you want it to look. When you're happy, you've got everything looking the way you want it. What you need to do then is click this icon here, go to render video. You select uh, where you want to save it here, obviously. You give it a, a name of your choice. All these are, are the defaults that I use. I think they're the defaults that come standard. I recommend using these ones, but they're there if you need to change anything. When you're happy, click render. That's everything.